we're looking at AutoCAD MEP 2013 East Coast Design and Fabrication Software. I want to start with just drawing some ductwork. And I want to show you our new tagging font and tagging format and font. Now you can see we've got a new font set up with a new tagging. You get your lengths and your duct sizes on each piece as you go through. Um, you can see you've got veins, automatic veins, so you don't have to go through now and uh, put your veins in after the fact. They'll automatically appear all right, on your duct with the new tagging system. It right, places all the veins as you come through with the tagging and also we'll put in a transition. All right, so we'll change the duct size here, maybe to say 10 by 10. And the new tagging, you have your flow arrow, your lengths, top or flat bottom. However you're drawing the duct, you can see the tagging is a lot cleaner, crisp. The font's real nice. All right, this was a real, I think, one of the nicest improvements because, you know, as congested as your drawing may get, everything's coming in nice and clean. And you can see the veins in there. The one thing is the flow arrow, if you want to change direction, say it's going the other direction or you want to change the tag, all right, you can open your properties palette and come through here. Flow, false, you can change it to true. It'll just rotate your arrow. All right, you also have flat top. Okay, if you wanted to change that tag to be the other direction, right, you could change it to flat bottom or flat top and change the arrow. All right, so it's a nice, uh, nice little tool. I can, you probably can see right away how nice and clean the tags look. Veins are automatic, doesn't matter what size I'm drawing here of duck. Now I'm at the 10 by 10 duck size with square elbows. Right, you're going to see you're going to get the veins for 10 by 10. Right, you're getting your throat sizes, all that. Everything you see here is I did not customize anything. This is me just loading up 5.1 out of the box and handing it over, you know, and running it. So there's nothing here I customized. You can go into the tag manager, all right, and you can eliminate them. You can take them out of here. You don't need them to appear. So if you don't want them, you don't have to have them. All right. In this auto tag manager, also transitions, elbows, all the different features. When you click on any of these items, you can see you can also pick a layer now. So you could have your tags show up on a specific layer for veins, for um, the angle. So they don't have to be on the same layer if you don't want them to be. They can all be on a So You can see how the connection type 1 and 2 is on a different layer than um, the auto tagging, maybe for the veins and for the uh, degrees, the angle. So you have a layer setting here to set each option on a specific layer maybe that you've created in your tagging. The only thing we did is we filled everything in. We gave you, you know, as much as we thought you might need to get you up and running. If you want less, you can put less in there. If you want more, you can put more in there. And easily just create yourself a new profile. Add a new profile put in one tag or two tags or whatever you want. So when you're actually working, you're going to use, you know, maybe use your profile. So you can have one profile maybe while you're sketching and drawing the project. So it only gives you so much information. And then you could have another profile that really fills in your whole drawing. So when you're ready to um, go and fabricate or send it out to the field, it fills in everything nicely. If I want to just show one tag on the first piece of duct, right, I come over to duct, so I click on it, and I say each and every duct, or you know, just the first piece of duct. How do I want these rules to be set? It is totally customizable. 